What is up everyone? This is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to be talking about how to rebuild your database on your PlayStation 4. So let's get right into this. So to basically get to the place where you need to rebuild your database and actually before even that some background this is most likely occurring to you because you're getting an error while you're playing some games uh, that your database is corrupted you need to rebuild it or whatever you may not even be games you're just like watching YouTube or your PlayStation 4 is just constantly giving you this error. This is what you need to do to fix that. This for me personally happened when I was playing Modern Warfare, uh, I believe specifically Warzone, and I did this and it actually ended up resolving that error. Uh, it's gonna be a couple of error messages as well. Uh, so trying to like walk you through all of those. So first thing you need to do is make sure you have a USB cable connected to your PlayStation 4 controller. As I mentioned in my past videos, this does not work if you don't have it connected to this uh, because this screen that we're going to is the safe mode. And in the safe mode, you need this to connect it to be able to navigate through it. So once you have it connected, you're going to make sure your PlayStation 4 is completely powered off and it is not connected at all you're going to hold the power button for about five to seven seconds until you hear two beeps so this is beep number one and this is beep number two you're gonna let go once those two beeps happen and then you're gonna wait for the safe mode screen to initiate so right there, as you can see, safe mode is up. You can now do what you need to do to rebuild your database. So again, connected to the wire, you're gonna place the PlayStation button to get to the screen you need to. As you can see, there's those different options there. Um, and we're going to go to number five, which is rebuild database. So in here, it's gonna say the database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours. It doesn't necessarily always take a few hours. Um, so we'll let it build. So we're gonna press okay. I wanna show you like basically what ends up happening. If this end up taking long, I'll speed up the video, <laughs> but in theory, it shouldn't end up taking too long. I believe it just takes like a couple of minutes or so, um, and then we'll take it from there. And again, this could matter in like how corrupted your database was. It could honestly maybe take a few hours, so just be prepared that you may have to end up spending that time. But again, for me personally, it's never taken over a few minutes. Even when my thing was corrupted, it literally still took a few minutes. Maybe my corruption wasn't as corrupted as I thought, but still just to give you a perspective, it didn't end up taking that long. But we'll see, we'll see how it ends up happening right here. So as you can see, it says 30 seconds for me, nothing too crazy. Um, it's actually going faster than that, 12 seconds now. And again, it's literally rebuilding the database, it's making sure everything works, the structures work, everything is fine. Nothing that got, anything that got corrupted, it's going to fix. Anything that was broken, it's going to fix. So again, it's doing this mumbo jumbo software stuff in the background and we're worrying about basically it doing that stuff for our sake. And as you can see, the database is rebuilt. You can now play with your PlayStation 4. So that, is, that was it guys. That's how you basically rebuild your PlayStation 4 database. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you overall liked the video and found it helpful and informative please smash that like button it helps a lot uh aside from that mo gaming out peace